Okay, my training history as a rower, um, it's a five day a week training sessions and then obviously events and match days on weekends, match days on weekends from Saturday to Sunday generally, but otherwise the half ones would be from Saturday, just on the Saturday and then Sunday would be the off day. But it's about three hours, three hours in the afternoons for on the water and then twice mornings for gym sessions. And then also ergos, which is the rowing machine, that's once or twice a week as well. Okay. Depend, depending on which week you're on. Uh, sport season now is uh, rowing's actually just started. It starts in, it's a summer sport, so it starts, I'm trying to think, uh, it goes all year round generally for varsity students and um, elite athletes, but um, school school terms, it's the same, same seasons as uh, water polo, cricket, and those kind of sports. March to SA Champs, that's the big event, yes. Uh, qualifying for that is all throughout the season, so you, you, do, you do a continuous assessment per se, so, it's, so you, you work throughout the entire season and then you only, only certain crews make the SA squad, SA Champs events. Yeah. March is the main competition and then, then it moves on to SA Trials and then you go and, and then it goes further and further. So the, the SA Champs is just the local big event and then you move on to national regattas and international regattas. Uh, um, so if March is, March is SA Champs then two months later um, two months later will be the big, uh, the other international regattas and then June, July is World Championships, so under 23 and Senior World Champs is June, July. Okay. That's the big SA, SA events, and All obviously right. apart from Olympic years. Okay. Uh, extreme endurance, um, a certain amount of strength. But um, extreme endurance, certain amount of strength, flexibility, and definitely a lot of flexibility. Specifically back and hamstrings. Okay. It's the most, most, most prominent place for injuries. Flexibility can really damage your back and, and yeah, stuff like that. Okay, okay so it, it's, essentially there's two types of rowing. So there's, there's rowing with two blades, two oars, and then there's rowing with one blade. And the, the rowing with one blade is, is the general uh, most of the population would know because that's Oxford Cambridge and the, the, it's the sweep, sweep side of it so it's, it's called sweep rowing one blade one blade and then sculling is called the double blade that's double blade rowing so that's the two with two blades two oars sorry um, and uh, it's, it, it, there's different categories as well so there's, there's one man two man four man and eight man and the eight man that's the big eight with the sweep, with the one blade rowing, that's the um, that's the main event essentially. Mm -hmm. That's the the um, like fifteens when if you're talking about sevens rowing. Right? Okay. Um, sweep rowing generally. I'm uh, the, the bigger guys do the sweep rowing, and then the smaller guys generally. It's it's it, it's not really definitely that way, but mm -hmm. it seems to be going that way in South Africa. That's a good question because it's sweet. There's stroke side and bow side, and um, starboard and port. I think they call it in America, but it's stroke side and bow side in South Africa. Um, so stroke side is on the right, and then bow side is on the left. Uh, pff, length, not tall. Being tall is like the number one uh, physical attribute in a in a row. Tall, then then chances are you'll do well. Uh, motivation. I, I, I think I can get every I, I'm, I'm, I, every aspect I'm quite average at, but generally motivation is the hardest thing because five times a week and plus plus weekends and stuff, getting getting up to do it all is tough. So first off, obviously foot size varies, so you you can change your foot sizes and everything. Obviously, it's like that in the, in the real rowing boat as well. Got different shoes and different clogs and everything. Um, and then from the beginning, okay, before we grab the handle, okay, obviously just like a, a deadlift or a squat or anything, you, you first practice the, mo the movement. So first off, starting like that, okay, and then we pick up the handle, okay, and as 
for, there's generally three positions. So, well, the first thing you tell a beginning rower, beginner rower, okay? So it's legs, body, arms, and then arms, body, legs. Okay, so on the drive, it's legs, body, arms, and then on, on the way back, on the recovery, arms, body, legs. Okay, um, and that's the, uh, that's the basic thing you want to start with when, you, when you're first teaching, a, teaching a, uh, anyone who's a beginner or rower. Okay, um, this is the finish or, uh, and um, the start and the beginning of the stroke. This is the start and the beginning of the stroke um, because when you come here, you draw the blade out. This, uh, the, 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 essentially, the, 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 walk, the blade will come out of the water when you move, the, move your hands down in this position. Okay, that's down and away, and that's that's the first first re the first step of, of of the stroke, and then it's the body movement. Okay, the body movement is important because then we get proper. Uh, uh, the legs aren't rushing up the boat and then it's not slowing the boat down which causes check and check slows the boat down because the boat stops moving like that. You want to have a smooth motion when the boat's moving. Okay, so from here, it's the finish, down, away, and then the body over, and then we move the legs all the way up to the catch position. Okay, and at the catch position, the hands go up and the blade goes into the water and then the leg drive starts. Once the blade's in the water, then the leg drive can begin, so you put your legs down and that's the leg drive. But obviously, it, it 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 mashes up into the into the rest of the stroke when you get to going full full strokes. So it's legs, okay, and then the body. And this is how you teach a teach a beginner rower. First, legs and body. Because if they start using their arms too soon in the stroke, they don't get proper connection. Okay, so legs, body, and then you involve the arms, and then it's full stroke, and that's a full rowing stroke. From recovery, move your hands out nice and quickly, followed by your body, generally in a smooth, fast motion, fast manner, and then you move the legs nice and slowly. The, the ratio would be two to one, arms first, body, and then move your legs at twice the speed you would, well, um, half the speed you would move your arms and your body. Okay, and then you get to the catch position, and at the catch position, you don't want to pause, you want to move nice and quickly, and you want to stand on the footboard. Um, lifting the hands up, holding a nice and tight posture, not letting your body cave in, cave over, and then standing on the footboard, and accelerating the legs, then your body, and then your arms drawing through to the top of the six pack. Body is the hip movement, opening up at the finish, while the hands are still, hands are still out, um, the, this, this, this helps stop back problems and all that, all, all that kind of stuff and makes it more, more of, a, more of a, a smooth rowing stroke. The, the, the hand should be just, just below the rib cage, just well, at, at the top of the six pack, okay. just below the sternum. Okay, from here, just legs. Okay, then you involve the body. <coughs> and then you involve the arm. Also the speed of the movement is important because the hands need to be the hands and the body need to be quite quick. And from the hands and the body, then the legs need to be nice and slow because the difference of weight to pushing to the front of the boat um, is a lot lighter when you're moving your hands and body, but it's a lot heavier when you're moving your legs and the whole body to the front of the boat, so it slows down the boat. Again, check in the smoothness of the boat. Cool.